Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Taurus a relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on in this connection with this relationship. We're going to get right into it, guys. Please join me, Wacky Mo, W-A-C-K-Y-M-O-E, on Twitter, and also Zen Romance Tarot on Twitter. I am obviously on YouTube. Please share the videos. Uh, and TikTok, I'm up there, and I'm starting to post elsewhere, too. So, I'm trying to make sure. All right, good. I don't know if that's anything I don't want it to be too. Anyway, so we're going to take a look and see what's going on in this connection, guys. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for everything. All right, let's get right into it. Scorpio, I'm going to pull your individual energy with Taurus, right? I want to know what you're feeling now, please, or what's going on. What do you need to look out for? What's on your mind? Scorpio, what's on your mind in this relationship with Taurus right now? What's going on? Oh, I found another card from another deck. I thought I took all those out. Apparently, I did not. <laughs> all right. I want y'all to look up and not down. No matter who you are, what you're into, you know. Oh, I want you to be blessed no matter what. But we want to be conscious, right? All of us. Me too. Me too. Scorpio, what's your energy in this relationship with Taurus, please? Give me your energy, please. I must got two decks together or something. Scorpio, it says something about a new beginning coming up for you guys. One thing I can say in terms of confirmation, the cow came up upright twice, right? So that's a good thing. Scorpio, this is your energy right now. A new beginning. Or even a new life. Maybe blooming. Some of you guys have a new beginning or a new life. I say a new beginning is a new life no matter what. But for some of you guys, when it says new life, it's like a completely different it's like a complete it's completely different from whatever you know right now just think of it <laughs> because it's upright i'm going to say think of it increasing or enhancing greatly it's a new beginning for sure whether or not i don't know what kind of new beginning like it could be a new beginning of i don't know the jailhouse <laughs> or it could be the new beginning of you living in mansions if that's what you desire whatever it's a new beginning for you something that's is going to be different for you, Scorpio. All right, so we see that coming up. This is something with the moon and totem. And it's double confirmation. So I'm not going to forget that, right? But I am going to take it out the deck, though. I'll keep it up here so I can reference it, knowing that it came out twice. Scorpio, what else is going on in this relationship? I see there's something about a new beginning that you're interested in, that you know is on the horizon, is coming up for you, something like that. Completely different lifestyle, Cal. More. Okay. Why does this card? All right, I'm not going to take this, but it does say Venus reversed here. I'm not going to. And if I know, because the way I pull cards, I take them from back there. So spend time with family or helping others. Avoid situations that can be a drain on your emotions. Spend time with family or helping others. Avoid situations that be that can be a drain on your emotions. All right, so we see the moon in Cancer here. So you guys have a new beginning. You're being advised to spend time with family or help other people, whatever that's about. Now, this card came out reverse here. I'm not necessarily going to take it, but let me see. What, by drawing this card, you're invited to use your energies of Venus when practicing. Mm. It says something about uh, magic up here. So um, and at the end of the day... It looks like you weren't some of you guys. I don't want to say all. Somebody may have been investing their energy in the wrong type of uh, magic. It came out reversed. And it tells you that you need to do better. <laughs> anyway, there's the moon in Taurus. Interesting. All right. So we have now is the time for focusing on finances and practical matters. So Scorpio, it looks like at this time you're looking to have a new beginning. One is blooming for you. It's going to be a new life. You guys need to spend time with family. Or you need to be helping other people. This is what you're being advised to do at this time. All right. So we have that that comes out for you. I'm going to put this here because I want to reference it. All right. Got it. All right. Now, what is Scorpio's? Mm, look at that Scorpio at the bottom of the dog on deck. Ain't that something? What is that? Like purple tape. Oh, it looks like a nail. Negative attitudes and fiery arguments. <laughs> Are possible at this time. I'm just reading this because it's at the bottom of the deck and it's funny. 
Channel your energies into positive physical activities like decorating or gardening. Ooh, child, you talking to me. Listen, uh, stay away from my fiery arguments. I'm just, I'm just saying. Scorpio, stay away from your fiery arguments, right? So as long as some arguments stay away from you, you will stay away from them. Ain't that right, sir and or ma'am, Scorpio, right? That's how we do. We don't bother you unless you bother us. However, if you come in our backyard, ooh, child, child, child. Anyway, let me get back to this. Scorpio, give me your main concern, please. You know what? This is what I can do. I can actually put this here. I can put that there. Spend time with family and Taurus. All right, nice and neat. Scorpio, give me your main concern, please. What is your main concern? Or what is the main theme, like, on your mind? What's up? Mm. Scorpio, give me one card. Sum it up. Mm. I'm going to try. Birds bring a message of cheer. If this card it falls distant. Wait, this is why I hate these cards. I love them, but they're very... Birds bring a message of cheer. If this card is distant, all is not clear. Whatever the outcome, remain without fear. Woes will be brief and the birds disappear. So y'all got birds talking about you, right? They over there chirping, chirping and chattering, saying whatever they got to say. There's something where cheer is coming in for you guys, right? It says if this card falls distant, all is not clear. I don't know if that means distant. I'm not quite sure what that means. I'm not sure what that means. Distance. I got to look at that. But there's something here where something's going to disappear. Whenever the outcome will remain without fear. If this card falls distant. It didn't fall distant. It fell right, fell right here. You guys have some good news coming in and people are going to be talking about it, right? And whatever this good news is coming in for Scorpio, for you, Scorpio, it feels like whatever these people have been saying, there's some news of cheer coming in. It's going to make them be quiet, right? So the birds is chirping and, you know, they, eh, like that, like they seagulls, like that, like they be, you know, rob on, like that. They ain't going to be able to do that, all right? They're going to recruit in shame when they find out whatever this news is, right? Like whatever this news is that folks is getting, for, and I want to be very clear. This is not for every Scorpio. This is for the Scorpio in this read. I do have other playlists, right? I have a, Scorpio reads all over the place, right? Scorpio relationships. But I did expand. There's also a Taurus playlist. Everybody's got a playlist. I think the only one I wasn't able to call it an actual list was Aries. But all the Aries relationships fall under the Aries playlist. Just so you guys know. All right. Shameless. I'm not, I'm not ashamed of my marketing. I, I was actually cheated out of my marketing money. Yeah. Thank you for that. You still owe me my money. Anyway, so we have that. These birds are going to stop chirping, right? They ain't going to have too much to say once some news comes out. Because you're about to get some news that's going to put them to shame and make them shut up or something like that. Mm. I hope I'm the Scorpio in this read well, so far. Well, I don't know what all that is. <laughs> still, it's not a bad read for Scorpio. All right, let's go back into it. Uh, Taurus, give me your energy in this relationship, please. Give me your energy in this relationship with Scorpio. I need to know what is going on. I see something about the moon in Sagittarius. I'm not going to take it, but when I went to shuffle, that's what flipped. You can look that up if you want to. I got one that keeps turning over, and I'm turning it back in. Hold on, girl. Taurus, give me your energy. And I got to remember, I'm reading two fixed signs. So we're talking about two folk that are just like, they just there. We don't give a what. We, you know, this is what it is. <laughs> you can definitely sway fixed signs with facts. Facts are the only thing really that's going to move us. Well, me anyway. I don't know about the rest of these. If it ain't facts, then I ain't moving. If I know what I know what I know, right? And what you saying ain't, uh, it ain't adding up, right? And then the information you're giving me ain't adding up. Guess what we going to do? We going to go check that. And if it comes out to be a fact, then I'll incorporate it in my argument, beliefs, somehow, if, as long as there are facts involved. If there are no facts, you can forget it. It is what it is. I'm a fixed sign. <laughs> I'm very fixed, actually. Fixed, like, for real, for real. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very, it is what it is. I'm not by the book. Don't get me wrong, y'all. I, I ain't, I'm, Lord knows, I'm not perfect at all. But there's just certain things, like, like, the kids eating. It's basic Logic that it's, I don't know. Anyway, Taurus, give me your energy in this relationship with Scorpio. 
Leo. Ooh, moon and Leo comes out reverse here. All right, so let's see what we have. It is important. It is an important time to guard against being self-centered, over-opinionated, or pushy. So again, it goes into that fixed energy. It is important. It is important time to guard against. Okay, so you guys might be in this uh, position where you are being self-centered. It's all about you. You're being opinionated. You believe what you believe. You're being pushy. This is what I believe. And I don't think that you guys are going to sway or move. You believe this. You're like, listen, this is what I believe. That fixed energy. Give me more for Taurus. Mm. Mm, I think I see what's going on. Taurus, give me your energy in this relationship. All right, because we have the cow. I want a new beginning. The other one is it's important time to guard against being self-centered. Okay. Because Scorpio wants to do begin. Oh, the owl comes out reverse. Let's see. Wow. A crisis will allow you to look into yourself and make an important revelation. A crisis will allow you to look into yourself, but you're still not going to make or connect that important revelation that you need to make or connect or have. There's something about a revelation that you guys are going to ignore. There's a crisis that does allow you to look at something, your situation, and you are refusing. You're like, I don't want this revelation. I'm not hearing it. I still believe what I believe. Hold on. Give me one more. Taurus, give me your energy in this relationship with Scorpio, please. Moon in Pisces comes out reverse. Mm, Scorpio all upright. Taurus comes out reverse. Beware of indulging in negative or depressive tendencies. I'm not going to stop doing that. I'm not going to be aware of indulging in negative or depressive tendencies. It makes me feel better. I know I need to be aware, but for some reason I'm not going to come out of it. I'm just not. I feel comfortable in my depression. I get to drink in my depression. My depression is comfortable because I'm used to it. So I don't really want to come out of it because I don't know what's outside those walls of depression. It's a comfortable feeling when I go into that spot because I know I'm safe there. I know I get to be my own victim. I get to cry day and night, whatever, whatever. I get to drink as much as I want and wallow as much as I want. But guess what? I'm being safe with it because I'm at my house. I'm with my friends, which I will be very careful with that. There's something where you guys are not rocking out with maybe too, too, too many people, but there's also this depressive energy that you are comfortable in. So there's a lot of habits here that you guys are not willing to relinquish just yet. I want to see why. Now, I know that Scorpio's got folks gossiping or whatever they're doing, and there's some things or some information that's going to come out, and people are going to be like, oh, well... Well, so-and-so said, don't so-and-so said nothing. What did you actually review? What did you probe? What questions did you ask the actual person? Taurus, give me your energy. What is your, what's your main concern like? Because it looks like Scorpio's main concern is clearing up some of the birds. Like, you know, that bird, like you're trying to clean that up. Like here, let me show you what this really, ooh. Your main concern is some snake that comes out reversed. Okay, so there's a snake here. Vile is a serpent who lulls with a bite. Be not indulgent or slow to the fight. Be not indulgent or slow. Don't overindulge, but don't be slow to argue or fight. Some of you guys may have been taking too long to address something. Flee every moment she turns on the charm. This poised opponent will bring you to harm. Some of you guys have the snake energy, somebody creeping into your relationship or something like that, or this is on your mind. Some of you guys have this person in your energy who might be starting some kind of trouble in this relationship. There's something where you guys still have this person in your energy. She's vile. She lulls with a bite. She's indulgent, right? Be not indulgent or slow. Some of you guys need to address something and you have just let it sit there and fester. You didn't clear up anything. For some of you guys, this is about a Pisces. For some of you guys, who else could this be about? About a Pisces or a Leo. There's something that you guys are holding back. You know one of these folks or whoever these people are, they're snakes. That's what I'm getting. As a matter of fact, when we get into the text, it kind of tells us you should be able to hopefully piece something together. I'm trying to keep this board as nice and neat as possible. Something about a snake coming out reverse. Somebody is vile. I feel like for some Tauruses here, in, well, some, in whoever these people, whatever, somebody might actually be attracted to this energy because you choose to ignore everything. You're not paying any attention. You're like, so what? 
some of you guys feel like, let me just go back and let me go into my depressive state, but you don't want to deal with this issue. You're letting something linger or I don't know, somebody could be like, you know, disrespecting your gangster and you ain't said nothing about it. Now, granted, this could have been years. I don't feel like this is something to just, because I feel like you guys don't really want any confrontation or you, this doesn't bother you, but I feel like when it gets out of control, then you need to address something, address something about a snake. Somebody been talking crap about you, talking crap about your relationship and now it's getting back to Scorpio, mm, whatever that's about. Scorpio, let's take a look and see what's going on. There's a Scorpio who's showing up in this read here. You could be a philanthropist or you could represent philanthropist projects or you provide work for people, something like that. The cards are saying here that there's some sort of an investment that is going to be given to you. It's a gift of an investment. It says it's for your business. It is a business investment. It could be from a small legacy from a relative it could be from a competition win, a bonus, or some other payout, Scorpio. The payout, if it is one, is something that you did not expect or you're not going to expect. For some of you guys, whatever this is, you are inspired to give or somebody's inspired to give to you. But the cards say you are philanthropist, so I feel like you guys are the ones giving. It can go either way. You're either going to give or you're going to receive. For some of you guys, you're going to receive and you still give because you're philanthropists. So that's what you do anyway, right? You guys are giving. I don't know how. It doesn't necessarily say how you're providing work for people. But I will tell you this. I mean, I feel like this is something that is honest. I feel like it is moral. Let's put it that way. I don't feel I'm not getting any vibes here that this is all, you know, shady or not yet anyway. So we also have here for Scorpio, we have the six of wands that comes up reverse for you, right? So you guys have been working on something. Maybe you represent some sort of, I don't know, project, initiative, organization, whatever it is you guys do, whatever you do with the six of pentacles, with the giving, the receiving, helping people and also generosity, or somebody could be helping you. The cards say that you are doing something that is somewhat productive, something that helps other people. But it also goes on to say that no matter how devotedly you've tried to follow a dream, you have been eluded. It says eluded. Reward has eluded you. I feel like you guys have worked hard towards something and something continues to be taken from you. So I feel like you guys are doing the work, but it also, the text goes on to talk about the actions of other people have excluded you, right? So you guys could contribute all you want. And you have to remember, whoever this is, this philanthropist, I don't know that they're necessarily into, because it looks like they're giving. This is somebody who's kind or something like that, right? So I don't know if this person necessarily cares, but this person is like anybody else. They still have a dream. It says that there were some people who decided they were going to come up in your space, right? And they were going to take something from you. Make sure something doesn't happen for you. Your reward for your work has been eluded. Now, that is for somebody to take something from you, snatch something from you, something to escape you. The actions of others have excluded you, leaving you confused, insecure, and in some cases, outcast from a group. These people, or whoever these folks are, they have delayed your plans, right? For some of you guys, you might feel suspicious about who's doing this. You're like, who would be doing this? Once you guys find out who's doing this, or you're like, wait a minute, this is not adding up. There's something that you guys start to question, I feel like, right, in this relationship. Whatever this is, you do not have any control over it, Scorpio. The cards do say, though, that even though you don't have any control, you are being challenged. I want you to take that away, right? Because a lot of these reads are very similar, but some of them focus on different things, right? So there's something here where you are being challenged by your circumstances to actually stand up for yourself, stand your ground, and make these folks understand what it is that you stand for, all right? Whatever this is. Now, remember, we're talking about a Scorpio who is a philanthropist. A philanthropist can fall under any umbrella, right? This is not a Scorpio who is, um, this is not a Scorpio. First of all, nobody's perfect. I want to say that. So even a, a Scorpio who is, uh, I don't know, a tone in or whatever, this can be that same person. This could be somebody who's a criminal and they're like, oh crap, I'm changing my life. Let me start to give. It's somebody who's in this energy right now, giving and receiving, but I get a good vibe from this person. I do see a group of people who came in, robbed Scorpio of opportunities, or in some cases, 
It's starting to look like they robbed Scorpio of a gift or something like that. Something that was supposed to come in for the work that they do or business or something that they do to give to others. Somebody took it from them. It was a group of people. They took it and then they created delays for Scorpio and they outcast Scorpio from a group. Scorpio didn't have any control over this, but Scorpio, once you realize what is going on, you are then forced to stand up, stand your ground so people can see what you're about. That is the text. That's what it says. And I feel like that's what Scorpio ends up doing here. We do see an avoidable tower that comes up with a tower upright. So this is avoidable. Now, Scorpio, I want to be clear, an avoidable disaster. Now, your fears, your worst fears are realized. For some of you guys here, it could be a relationship that went down. This relationship, Scorpio and Taurus could have went down, broken up, never happened, whatever happened here, right? So we see that as one of the fears, right? Your worst fears. It could be a relationship. It could be a business venture that falls apart. I want to be very clear with you guys too. There are no emotional cards here. There are no cup cards, no emotions. Cups are water, energy, emotions. There are none here. All right, these look like... Well, they're major arcanas, definitely for, definitely for Taurus. There's some changes come in, definitely. But Scorpio was able to avoid some sort of a tower here in this relationship, right? So Scorpio was able, even though somebody took something from Scorpio, tried to rob Scorpio of something that was rightfully theirs, they still are able to survive something. An avoidable disaster, or maybe this is cautioning you. Listen, Scorpio, this is right in front of you. Somebody's trying to get you, rob you, da 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 da, da trying to beat you for your bread. You need to whatever, right? So this is avoidable. So this is something that is coming, or something that you've already avoided, Scorpio. Now I also see here there's something with this business venture. There's a home project somebody's got going on out there, and it collapses. The cards are saying that you are partly to blame, Scorpio. Now, I want to be clear, again, this is not going to be every Scorpio's read in this relationship. This is only going to be for some people. So there could be a Scorpio out there who participated in some home project that actually collapsed. You know, the projects where you try and get people's houses, like, let me shake you up out of there. Because I don't want you there. Because I, I, I need you over. I need you in that other state. I need you to get in that truck and go to the other state. Yeah, take that and spin on it. How about that? So the tower card comes up, right? And it says here, let's see. You feel like you are partly to blame, Scorpio. And then you guys start feeling this anger and a sense of injustice. And then you feel guilty. And it says here, this is Scorpio energy. Some of you guys are pissed about it. But you avoid something. You get to, a, you have an opportunity to avoid something. Where there's somebody else here, don't get that lucky. Hold up. See, so you see, so you see... Somebody's falling out because the original tower is going to be like a tower building and it's on fire and people falling out. So yeah, there's some giant who makes it and then there's some guy in a suit. He falls out. Poor thing. He don't look like he's doing too good down there. He ain't looking too good. I pass out too. If, there, if something came up to me like that and it wasn't like Halloween, I pass out. So I'm just saying. So there's something where you guys get to avoid something. Fine. Taurus, let's take a look at you. Now, we know that a gift arrives for Scorpio. We get that, right? We also know that there's some snake in your midst here. And we see that there's something going on with Scorpio. Scorpio's like, F that. I want a new beginning. Scorpio goes into, hmm, I'm going to give, I'm going to receive, I'm going to do this, da, da, da. I get to avoid something. Nine of Swords comes out upright for you guys. This is victimization. Some of you guys are suffering, Taurus. It looks like you're suffering in this relationship. You are depleted of energy. It says here that you could be a victim of stress or a victim becoming, you could be becoming a, becoming a victim of stress, right? It says here that you're susceptible to illness or it could be due to the fact that you continuously argue with coworkers or colleagues and friends. They take a toll on you. I feel like for some of you guys, because of these battles with your family, and let me just back that up. Yep, colleagues and family, colleagues or family. Yep, it's a testing time for you because you guys keep arguing with these people for whatever reason. At the end of the day, the emotion behind it is extreme anxiety. I feel like you guys are mentally tortured at this time, like literally tortured in your heads. 
over something that could have happened in this relationship with Scorpio or whatever this is, right? I feel like for some of you guys, you are blaming yourselves or you're letting past mistakes keep you up all night. You can't sleep. There's anxiety, there's suffering, there's torture, but changes are required. And I think that's what this is about. This card is telling you that you need to make some changes in your life. The cards are also saying that you're suffering grief and depression over past mistakes, past misfortunes. So you guys are dealing with that. We also have the moon reverse. There's something that you guys are failing to do, or there's some failure of nerve. Some of you are looking to other people for answers. Like Taurus, you could be asking Scorpio, or looking to Scorpio for answers about something. Or for some of you guys, Taurus, you could be counting too much on a Cancer or a Pisces for some answers. When it comes to something, this person could be a mentor. The cards show here that there's something with your instincts. By you continuously reaching out to this mentor or being overly dependent on this mentor, it's making you look as if you are unable to make your mind up about something or make clear decisions on your own. There's something where doubt is shown within you and other people see it too. There's something about doubt here. There's something that you guys, ah, I doubt that. So let me go to my mentor. So you guys need to focus a little bit more on your intuition is what I'm showing. I see here, this is something coming up where moonlight, right? Because we have the moon here with the failure of nerve. This is something here where with the dependence on this mentor here, moonlight can be deceptive. It looks like something was different when the lights came on. I feel like whatever happened here, even if we looked at the Knight of Swords, right? And then the moon coming out reversed here, something looked different when the lights came on. Under the moonlight, it was beautiful. You, oh man, it was, ooh, wow. It's just like the nightclub. You know when you got the dancers on the speakers? Well, I know it like if you go to a house club, usually any listen, any club I've been to, people is dancing on the speakers. But I'm talking about literally, we're talking about real probably these little the people I saw, they was I'm they were probably they were probably trained dancers. I mean, they was who but but you put the lights on them and it was mesmerizing, is my point. Right. And I feel like that's what happened here. You got guys got caught up in some kind of moonlight. I don't want to say moonlight magic. I think you got caught up in the beautiful lights that covered up the real ugly stuff, right? Like the those wrinkle lines that we can't stand or I don't know. You know, when the makeup comes off and you actually see the pimple or the crater like that, something like that, right? I see where there's clarity and truth. That's going to come out about a situation and you guys are having some sort of anxiety about it. There's some sort of messages that you guys have been receiving in your dreams. This moonlight though is very deceptive, but the moonlight is telling you that you guys need to examine the motives of other people. The cards are saying that there's no need for you to settle for second best Taurus because you're not second best. There's something here with a Pisces. There's a Pisces. There's something that's going to come out about a Pisces. That's all I'm getting. It's either a Pisces or it's going to be a Cancer. Something with a Pisces or a Cancer. Whatever that's about. But you're being advised not to settle for second best. Now, the Temperance card does come up. And I feel like this is an extension of the Knight of Swords, the Moon Reverse, because the Moon Reverse is telling us that something is going to come out. Something in truth. Some truth, some clarity. There's some message or revelation that you're going to get, but there's going to be some truth behind the situation. It comes out and it literally blows your mind. You have the temperance card that comes out reversed here. For some of you guys, you already feel overwhelmed in this relationship, right? I'm losing my mind over the situation. There's a tower coming or there's a tower and I'm losing my mind. I feel imbalanced. I feel like I don't have any patience. This could be Sagittarius energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Somebody's losing their mind, Taurus, losing it, right? So we have here... You might feel overwhelmed by something or this increasing pressure to cope. And it could be these people involved here. We'll take a look at that. Now, the card also goes on to say that there are money problems behind this temperance card when it comes out reverse. Often money problems associated. But it's vital that you deal with this financial situation, whatever this is. And you also have to deal with the deficit that comes along with it, right? So deficit of energy, deficit of time, just like a financial deficit. Yeah, like that. So you have to fill in the blanks. You got to make up the way. It's a deficit. You have to some, somehow make up the difference, right? You have to be able to make up the difference. 
Okay. So you guys are imbalanced. There's something about you feeling defeated here and also deceived. I don't know if you guys feel like somebody lied to you about some finances or something like that, but this is potential debt. It's vital that you deal with potential debt or face some sort of a deficit. Mm. Sounds like somebody going to try and take some money from you or something like that. Anyway, we do have the justice card that comes out reverse for you guys. Now, this is a common energy, right? Um, I see here, this is a miscarriage of justice. This is a common energy. Both of you guys feel like you were treated unfairly in some situation. Perhaps this is legal. We're going to take a look at justice upright. Justice upright is going to be cause and effect, win-win solutions, and the truth. The truth coming out. Now, the truth is going to come out again because you have the moon reversed here. So the truth is coming out about you guys as a couple or something that was done here, something having to do with finances or whatever this is, right? But somebody's definitely anxious about something. I'll tell you that. But so you guys feel like you were treated unfairly in this situation. I will tell you the other piece to it is there's a justice, a justice, oh, child. There's a judgment or some kind of judgment or decision that goes against you. That's the common energy. It looks like both you guys here. And like I said, this does not appear to be some romantic relationship that I see. There is some sort of secret here. It could be about somebody. It could be about y'all. I didn't pull love cards. I actually might. But I do see where somebody's being a snake here. I see people talking. I see birds chirping, right? But this snake energy is a woman. So I'm thinking it might have something to do with love. I just don't know when or where or whatever, but I don't know. I feel like Taurus, you may have dealt with some snake energy or something like that because it's coming up. You're like somebody trying to like sneak me, sneak me. It's reversed here. Somebody trying to get you. Every card that came out for you here is reversed. And again, this Pisces, this confirmation could be a Pisces. Temperance is Sagittarius energy that comes up. Now, I want to be very clear too. The text says Sag for temperance. That's what the text says. I have another reference here under the astrological sign and the tarot sign. That could easily be a cancer, this temperance, right? So it could be a Sagittarius or it could be a Sag. Take it how it resonates in your story. But this is the energy of being in balance. The justice card comes out reverse. That is Libra. This might have to do with the justice system. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty confident it does. Now, we already know about justice upright. If we take a look at justice reversed here, the common energy between both you guys is some sort of dishonesty, legal problems, regrets, lawsuits, bigotry, justice reversed. Somebody acts with bias. Hmm. Somebody acts with bias and a judgment goes against you. Now, the cards actually do go on to tell us that this is also about self-rectification. This is about you guys feeling angry and hostile at the way a judgment comes out against you. You feel like it's unfair. And for some of you guys, it's just complete unfairness in legal matters in general, right? That's the feeling. That's what you're giving, right? We also see here that there's a message for the judge, whoever this is. You're being advised not to, I guess, dish out unduly punishment. So hopefully you get a good judge, I hope. Because right now, there's a judgment that goes against you. But if you get a judge... It ain't about that life and they're not happy with you and they see all the other crap and then you show up rolling your eyes or you're bold and trying to avoid things and trying to pay people off or not giving a what. Like you're under investigation, got a court date and you still going to go off, right? You still going to go to San Tropez on your boat or whatever you're doing or you still going to charge a trip and you still going to show boat all over the internet. Now, not that the judge is looking at that. I'm not saying that at all. But it's that type of boldness that, ah, wow, you must want, oh, really? What's that maximum punishment? I don't think they would do that. And that's what the book is saying, that they're advising the judge not to do that. So, judge, I'm not asking you to have mercy if, you know, I'm just asking you to be fair. Be fair. That's all. Anyway, I do want to take a look at love because I don't know if this is love. And do I have love cards? No. But I go get me some. Hold on, y'all. That's insanity, right? Where's my love card? 
I love guys. I love cards. <sighs> All right. I'm, I'm, okay, what's, whatever. I, I want to apologize for being a little late today. Because I was, I was doing a lot of work. So the schedule was a tiny bit off, but. Okay. Scorpio, Ooh. give me love. What's going on in this connection with Taurus, please? What's going on? Right, because I see you want a new beginning. I see you want to walk away from something. I see that there's some interaction here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer. That could be confirmation for this temperance card for Scorpio, even though it falls under Taurus's line. Now, I want you to be, I want you guys to understand here, there was a group of people that was working against Scorpio, all right? And so far, it could have been a Taurus. It could be your Taurus here, because that's what it feels like. It feels like the Taurus in Israel was trying to come for you. Or it could be another Taurus, right? So you guys could have had a Taurus and a Cancer that was walking, uh, talking about you, speaking against you, gossiping, being a bird, right? Like they was chirping. Okay, Scorpio. Oh, God, okay. How about I ask Michael? Scorpio, give me your whole angle. Give me your feelings and love in this relationship. Give me your feelings and love in this relationship with Scorpio, please. What's going on? Just give me a few cards. I don't really need light. What's going on? All right. We got one. One flip. All right. We got one. Chemistry. I don't feel like there's any chemistry here. There's a strong magnetic connection. Scorpio says, no, there is not. There's no strong magnetic connection. I ain't really, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I just don't. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no strong romantic. I, there's no connection here. <laughs> I don't know. Or Scorpio's questioning it. It could simply be I'm questioning whether or not there's romantic, whatever. Scorpio's like, I'm questioning that. I feel like it's more of I'm questioning that. But I don't think so. Scorpio, give me love in this relationship with Taurus. Let go of control issues. Scorpio, allow this situation to unfold naturally. You guys are trying to control something. You're being advised to let it play out naturally, whatever it is. You think that there's no chemistry, but you're trying to control it, right? So you really don't know if there's any chemistry. You've been controlling everything. So if you stop trying to control stuff, then you can see if you really have some chemistry with Taurus. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. All right, we'll keep that. That's good. We'll keep that. So Scorpio knows that there's some divine timing in love going on. Uh, I don't know if it's with you, Taurus, but it says Scorpio wants to move on. And Scorpio is willing to wait for divine timing, then try and make something work prematurely. As they say, there is no chemistry. Taurus, give me your energy, energy in this relationship with Scorpio, please. Love. Give me love. Love. Got that one. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Uh, okay. I don't know... If it's Scorpio, it could be the snake down here, Taurus. The snake could be a Cancer. The snake could be a Pisces. The snake could actually be a Sagittarius. The snake could be a Libra. Who else? The snake could really be Pisces, too. Because, look, Pisces comes out reversed over there. Who else we got? Leo comes up over here, too. So it could be a Leo. Whoever the snake is, that could be the person returning. Or it could be Scorpio. I don't, I don't think it's Scorpio. I really don't think. Give me love for Taurus, please. What's going on? Help me understand what this is about. Because Scorpio is like, what's this reconciliation? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. All right, there's somebody coming back into your lives. And some of you guys are dealing with some family issues at this time. Right? So you got some stuff going on with the family. One more. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I feel like Taurus is working on family things right now or working to reconcile someone from your past. First of all, Taurus has somebody from the past is coming back. I think this person is a snake. I don't think it's Scorpio coming back. I feel like while this person is trying to slither in and start trouble or whatever they're doing, there's some reconciliation from somebody in your past. It's upright. Healing family issues. But... You're not open to it. Your heart's saying that your heart is closed. It's safe for you to love you like it's not, I'm, I'm not ready to love yet or something like that. So I don't know who this person is that's coming in, but they're a snake. 
Give me the common energy and love for these folks, please. What's the common energy and love? Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. You guys might be separated. You guys might be separated. Hmm. Give me one more, please. Why are they separated? I feel like it's an interruption why one of these energies over here. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Okay, so I guess you guys are separated and you're being advised that you need to make a decision about what it is you want to do. What's the common energy between these two, please? What's the common energy? Principle. Okay, this print is a gentleman. The common energy is a gentleman. Mm. This principle card shows a man tried and true. Held in high regard, he, for, he fortunes for you. I guess it's on. Hold on, let me make sure I read that right. Held in high regard, he tells fortunes for you. Yeah. And upon your be least, upon your behest, if the cards are read well, the worst and the best the cards will foretell. So this is a fortune? You guys are going, somebody's going to a fortune teller? That's a common denominator. Separation very soon. This principle and... This principle card shows a man tried and true. So somebody who's honest. This person's also held in high regard. This person is going to read fortunes to you. And upon your behest, if the cards are read well... The worst and the best the cards will foretell. So you guys get both sides of the story as long as you're going to a fortune teller. Oh my goodness. It's telling you the truth about something. I don't know what that is. I look like both of y'all is going to fortune, folks. I have no idea. Whoever this person is that you're seeking, this could be the mentor that the cards reference. Somebody being too dependent on a mentor. This mentor showing up could actually be a Cancer or a Pisces. This person could be... A wizard. This is somebody who maybe doesn't want anybody to know that they read or have gifts or something like that. But there's some secrets coming out. And you guys are looking to somebody for answers who tells the truth. They're tried, they're true, they're honest, they're gentlemen. They're not a crapper, not a loser or whatever. So this is a reputable person that you guys are seeking or reaching out to for some sort of assistance to make a decision about something. All right. Whether or not you want to stay together. Whether or not you can stay together. I will tell you this. These groups of people that are casting you out and all this other stuff. Now, like I was saying earlier, for Scorpio, for you, it could be a Cancer. It could be a Taurus. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It could be another Scorpio. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. If I had to narrow it down, it could be a Cancer. It could be a Taurus. It could be a Scorpio. Taurus, if you got people kicking you out of a group or playing tricks on you or if there's something coming out about somebody, it's going to come out about a Cancer. There's some truth coming out about a Cancer or a Pisces. There's some truth coming out about um, a Sagittarius or a Cancer. There's a lot of Cancer here. The truth is going to come out about a Pisces. The truth is going to come out about a Leo. The truth is going to come out in the justice system about a Libra. You guys could be somehow entwined. These people could have kicked you out of a group. I feel like Scorpio got kicked out of a group. I feel like Taurus got lied to. Whatever that's about. Let me get a conversation and we are done. Give me a conversation, please. Hold on, y'all. What does uh, what does Scorpio have to say to Taurus, please? What does Scorpio have to say to Taurus? What does Scorpio have to say to Taurus? Okay. What does Scorpio have to say to Taurus in this relationship? I don't need time. Scorpio says, I don't need time. I think Scorpio wants a new beginning. Oh, I'm so happy that I found you. Okay, I guess we got to move it along, Scorpio. Guys, take it these reads for how they resonate. Some of these cards belong. So I'll read something of the Scorpio's energy. And according to your story, it, it might fit over in Taurus's area. We're not trying to make anything fit. But sometimes the energies get mixed up is my point. As a matter of fact, very often I'll pull a line for Scorpio. It's completely Taurus's read. I'll pull Taurus and it's Scorpio. So these reads are often like that. One more. What do I have to say to... What does, what does Scorpio have to say to Taurus? Hold on. Nothing. 
I'm going to pull one more because I'm an open book. Whatever. Scorpio, what do you have to say to Taurus? I feel so confused. As you should, because Taurus was over here playing games, right? And reaching out to wizards and stuff and people that can make stuff disappear and make stuff right before your eyes. Say presto. Somebody, I don't know, a pile of smoke clears and then there's a person in front of you, all types of weird TV stuff. Poof, like that. Taurus, what do you have to say to Scorpio? I'm not lost. Okay. Scorpio is, what does Scorpio, Scorpio says something like, I don't need time, I'm not lost. I don't need time, I'm not lost. Taurus, what do you have to say? Betrayal. You betrayed me. Betrayal. I'm not lost. Betrayal. Give me more about betrayal. Why you, Why do you feel like Scorpio betrayed you? Or what are you talking about? Hold on. I remember you. All right. Somebody could have betrayed you back in the day. This sounds like something back in the day. I remember you. Give me more. Some of y'all, this is a hater from back in the day. Hating, mad. They mad from like kindergarten. Still mad. You was mad then. And you like super duper mad now. For what? We both had the same opportunities. Nah, you know what? That's a lie. We ain't gonna sit here and act like everybody got the same opportunities. But I mean, if you want to send somebody and you just coming at them in a... Like, if you put somebody with a similar life, y'all go... Yeah. But everybody's situation is different, so... I remember you. Give me more. Taurus. My mental health is in a great place right now. I remember you. Ooh, child. Taurus, remember something... Maybe they didn't remember before because they were in a bad mental place. But whatever this is, Taurus is remembering now. Scorpio, like, I'm confused. It's been years. You ain't never addressed this before. But I remember now, says Taurus. I remember now. <laughs> I'm kidding, y'all. Give me the common energy in terms of a conversation. What do they have to say? I miss you. Yeah, you guys are separated. Oh, is there some beef here? I don't think it's beef. I just think y'all separated. But Taurus is saying you betrayed me. Let me just get one more. We do not fit together like a puzzle. We fit together like a puzzle piece. We do not fit together like a puzzle piece, but I do miss you. I feel like it's, I feel like y'all separated. Y'all's is separated. All right, I just something else I have to pull before I let you guys go. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna shuffle this. Uh, that wasn't in the left. All right, let's go. Now, we understand that there's some miscarriage of justice going on here, right? The situation could have been manipulated by any of these people. There's a group of people that show up here. Uh, somebody got manipulated, it looks like, by a group of people or some situation was manipulated. Remember, Scorpio has all these delays with things outstanding due to this group of people talking and chirping and gossiping, right? And remember, there's going to be some news that comes out that puts these birds to shame and they're going to sit the F down, right? They're going to sit right on down, mad, angry, cheap shame. They're probably going to come back like, oh, uh, I was given the wrong information. But yeah, you, but at the end of the day, the bottom line is you knew what the topic was, right? You probably didn't know how the operation went, but you knew who it was about and you participated. So we good. I'm kidding, y'all. Give me um, give me justice. This injustice. What's this about? If this has to do, what is this really like? You know, aside from love, if necessary, what's this got to do with for both of them? Imprisonment. My goodness, both you guys do not want to go to prison. It's a miscarriage of judgment and of justice. Some of you guys are gonna be subject to prison. Imprisonment comes out reversed. All right, this is manipulated by a snake here. Let me clearly define something. What is this justice? This is legal problems. Legal problems, lawsuits, bigotry, unfairness, and dishonesty. Some of you guys are angry. The common energy between you guys is the justice reverse. So there was something that was done that you're going to be judged for. You guys both do not want imprisonment. That's what you're fighting against. It could something with a grandparent. Hold on. Imprisonment grand. Second, you guys probably have some family members involved in this too. Something with imprisonment of grandparents who caused some sort of great injustice. Some of you 
This could be a grandparent or you guys could have grandparents in a judgment system. Both you guys, this is a common energy. If not grandparents, they could be elderly people, older people, somebody in your family, paranormal. These people are experiencing paranormal activities, right? I don't think they are. Uh, I'm going to go back here. Now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people paranoid. Something with a child comes out reversed here. Paranormal activities with a child. Somebody's kid could actually have like a third eye. And you got some real ignorant folks that think they should be put down because of that. I'm not saying that, that that's what this is. But paranormal, I really feel like somebody is experiencing some paranormal activities, right? About a kid, maybe some memories coming back to haunt you in your sleep. This is a common energy. These are folks that are doing it to you, right? So they could be grandparents doing this. Something with a child. There could be a child that's coming back. I don't know. I don't know where this kid is coming back from, but they could be haunting them in their dreams. Remember, people are getting messages in their dreams. Somebody did something to a kid. Or I don't know. Yup, a parental doggone figure comes out reversed. A child, a parental figure. This is definitely family. Somebody's family's going to jail. Somebody's family said there was an accident. There was an accident had with a parental figure. There's an imprisonment coming up either of a parent, parental figure or a grandparent, which is still a parental figure. To me, that's confirmation that somebody in a doggone family. Somebody got blackmailed, though. Somebody got blackmailed with imprisonment. Maybe they blackmail somebody with money, but blackmail. Like, if you don't take this money over to, I don't know, Fifth Avenue and Alley and meet some guy dressed up in a purple this and a black shoes or whatever sunglasses <laughs> something like that like somebody's making you do something because you're being blackmailed otherwise something comes out about an accident and a child grandparents and a parental figure hold on i'm not gonna take it but investigation and psyop just came at the bottom of the deck i'm gonna shuffle give me one more about this accident what, what's this, is this injustice about that somebody's angry, scared, and going crazy or losing their minds over this? They're like, we're going to jail for being biased. Somebody chose to do something for somebody for selfish, evil, I'm sorry, bad reasons. Could have been money. What's the blackmail? Trauma. Somebody caused somebody some kind of trauma. Imprisonment. Blackmail. Trauma. Somebody's traumatized by this. Sigh up again. I got to look up and see what that actually is. Struggle. Something about a struggle. Somebody wanted somebody to struggle in a trauma. Illuminati hub. So there's some group of people. Secret society. Coven. It's a hub of people. At a certain place. An area. Treason. They committed treason when they hubbed. Right? What is a hub? A hub is where a group of people or... How can I explain this? You know how some places have different hubs or I don't want to use that example. You know, after you have to go someplace to charge up your car, it's like a hub. Maybe it's like six or seven gas things and you charge your car up. It's like a hub of chargers, a hub of people, a group of people, some people, a place where people gather. Treason was committed. Treason. Somebody could have went to another country and lied about something more investigation somebody does not want anybody to know about this investigation about blackmail imprisonment and treason that's what somebody's going to jail for that's what the injustice is about but that's all i have for you guys i want to thank you so much for tuning in to zen romance tarot like share subscribe like share subscribe please i love you guys i'll see you in a little bit bye